Following the death of Hezbollah's leader, Netanyahu issued a stark warning to others in the region. There is no place in Iran or the Middle East that the long arm of Israel will not reach. And today you already know how true this is. The increased fighting along the Israel-Lebanon border has forced tens of thousands of residents on both sides to evacuate. Uh, international correspondent Trent Murray has more now from Tel Aviv. Well, we've heard publicly now from Hezbollah for the first time since its leader, Hazran Nasrallah, was killed with his deputy giving a televised speech in Lebanon vowing to continue the fight against Israel. He acknowledged that the group had indeed been hit pretty hard by these Israeli strikes, but he insisted the structure of the organisation remains in place, and crucially, so does much of its arsenal of rockets and missiles. He said that if the Israelis launch a ground invasion into southern Lebanon, then his fighters are ready. That message comes as the Israeli side certainly seems to be sending hints that it's preparing for some sort of ground operation. Tanks and troops continue to be massed up on that northern border with Lebanon. We even saw the defence minister up there earlier today, Yoav Gallant, signalling that land uh, troops may be about to be used in this fight. Of course, a real change in strategy compared to the heavy air power that we've seen in the past 12 days, which has really been hitting much of southern Lebanon, but also, of course, the southern suburbs of Beirut, which is considered the Hezbollah stronghold. What changed today also, though, was a separate airstrike in the downtown area of Beirut. Now, that was an area that is not considered a real Hezbollah stronghold, and many people had thought it was seemingly safe from these types of airstrikes, but the concern is what we saw with this strike is that the Israelis are now expanding their area of operations and that parts of the city that were considered safe may no longer be. That message, of course, coming as the White House and the State Department continues to urge Americans that are in Lebanon to try and find out any way possible, but there are very limited commercial flights and even trying to make it to the airport now is quite difficult because the road connecting the airport to the city runs right through the southern suburbs of Beirut, which is where the Israelis have been hitting with these airstrikes, making the journey to the airport perilous for Americans and other nationals that are trying to heed their government's advice to get out amid real concerns that all that war could be just around the corner. Trent Murray for Scripps News, Tel Aviv.